And welcome back to On the Branch Gaming. Welcome back to we're, Helicopter Simulator yeah, 2016. We, uh, do with the cutest robot ever. It's it's like a little um well, it's, it's, it's like Rob. Rob from, yeah, 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 it's Rob from the NES days slash Rob 64 from yeah. the oh, Star Fox yeah. 64. It's Rob. Uh, those guys are back, or did you not blow them up this uh, time? Well, I did, but... Hurry, Fox, do something. Yeah. Come on, do something, Dylan. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. something up there. Oh, okay. Do you have to fly forward, or can you can you fly stationary? I, I can fly stationary. It hovers. Okay. What's up there? Oh, you gotta drop Rob uh, a, in again. A convenient, uh... These mini games are a little a little past the submarine silly. Yeah, at least the submarine kept the most good term. I'm doing that, dude. Come on, man. <laughs> good old. Hurry up and do the thing you're currently in the progress of yeah, doing. Yeah, basically. <laughs> we learned that one from a little fairy in Zelda. Yeah. Oh, and now you fly down there. Well, I mean, look at it this way. At least it's not as bad as Five Nights at Slippies. Is is no? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, the the ultimate mini game that has nothing to do with the game. Which, yeah, the which, the ultimate mini game that has no reason to be a thing exactly, <laughs> but we're making it one. Jamie and Amerith are gonna play that at some point. Don't worry, you you guys will get to see us play Five Nights at Slippies. What's it actually called? Star Fox Guard? Uh, something like that. Yeah, but that's that's the uh, running joke between. Oh, oh, okay. What's it came with the physical copy? Actually, the physical yeah. copy of this game came with some pretty cool. Maybe it's because we pre-ordered. But it came yeah, with... Maybe. Okay, so I rebooted this thing. Is it friendly, or...? Uh, I think you just act turned him into boss mode. Oh, no, it's under your control. Okay. Oh, you hacked it. Oh. And now you're getting shot at. So lead it? What, so, is, what am I... Oh, oh, I just lead it to enemies, and it just does its thing? <laughs> you're, it's like on a leash. So, yeah, the game came with the second disc, Star Fox Guard. It came in a big old box... And it came with a little patch, a little Star Fox team logo patch. Which which is pretty cool. I mean, I can yeah. appreciate that. Yeah, a little iron-on so you don't have to stitch it yourself. It's, it, I don't know, it's just a pretty neat, complete package. It's nice to see that you actually can get cool stuff in a box when you buy a game these days. Yeah. Considering so much of gaming is DLC, which in general I prefer. I love the convenience of not having to find physical media when I want to play a game. It's super annoying to go find a disc to install something. Yeah, to I mean, that, but it, again, I, I think I've talked about this on other episodes for other stuff, but it's kind of the weird medium between like a uh, physical copy and a digital copy. Digital is a lot easier, yes, like undeniably so. The, but yes, the convenience factor. There is something just utterly satisfying about having a physical copy of something. What's he doing now? Uh, I don't know. I'm I missed. I missed it. Apparently, going through a teleport. Um, I also kind of wonder if maybe that's the split path in this stage. Did you just... Is, oh, we're, we're done with the second part. Yeah, yeah. We, we kind of jumped in in the last... Uh, oh, episode. is that the end? Did we, yeah, did yeah. Did we do it? Did we win? Yeah. We um, won. But, the, so, so the split path, I wonder if maybe that's it, is letting them actually take the gorilla. And maybe um, that's... Well, see, I don't know. That's either a failure or that's a... We haven't actually gotten to the more positive path yet, have we? Maybe uh, that's what this is, because we haven't seen a warp like this I yet, I don't know, we? actually. No, we haven't seen anything like this, but... Um, yes, this is new to us. This isn't what's normally between the Lights levels. flashing. Lights Brightness. Screen. Bright screen. I'm suddenly glad we don't have an LED TV in this room, because oh, that would have been super actually, bright. And he's dead. The, oh, I can't mind <laughs> Um, but when yeah. does he get his R wing back? Is I, it gone forever? I was gonna say. I'm like, can I get the R wing back? <laughs> At least we're. Oh, this is the portal that happens in the cartoon thing. Did it show it in the game, uh, or was it just in the actually the animated yeah, short? I think it was just in that former corn area on Zeb's. Huh? It's the Zona's Whoa. base, all right. We're getting plot here. Well, I know, I know. Plot in a Star Fox game. What I'm kind of uneasy about what, this. What a time to be alive, right? <laughs> 2016, everybody. <laughs> um, yeah, this is, this is why they had to delay the game. They put a plot in it. Yeah, back when this, was, you know, back when the game was just about a geometric shaped shooting. See, that another. water is gorgeous. Oh, it is. I know. It is actually beautiful. Can I? Uh, no, okay, I can't actually. I, I was seeing if I could barrel roll still, but. So a, a couple days ago, we were talking about how 
games like this need just full co-op. Like, wouldn't it be nice if it didn't have the split options between what you're doing on the on the pad and on the screen? Like yeah. Hyrule Warriors does. Hy- Hyrule Warriors does it perfectly. Oh, yeah. You have two-player co-op, and you just each have your own screen because the tablet is a screen. Yeah. I, I wish more games were doing that for the Wii U uh, generation of game. you know, for the, for the games made exclusively for it. Not even exclusively. If, the, if they can... I should be. If they can bother making cross-platform, I think you're just trying to avoid them. It's like the well, spotlights in that other... Well, yeah, but I mean, even in that one, you could shoot those spotlights. Right? That's true, but these ones are moving so slow and they're so easy to avoid. I don't I can't know imagine why. Them oh, jeez. I don't know why the uh, the sink keeps getting off on this. Like, oh, tremendously like it keeps decalibrating. So. Yeah, I think you're. It wants you to hold it in a different way than you're holding it. Well, this is uh, Metal Gear Star Fox right now. <laughs> it's just that that's actually what Star Fox Zero is. It's just trying to see <laughs> how many uh, different crossovers we can make. Why is it called Star Fox Zero again? Because it's I, not a prequel. Yeah, I don't know. I actually kind of wondered. Like, it's not like Metroid Zero Mission or something. Yeah, you know? I did actually wonder about that. Why that naming convention? But... Like at least Mega Man Zero, not, also not a prequel, much yeah. the opposite. But it's also the name of the character. Yeah, I mean that's that one does, at least does make does, sense. Does Zero from the Mega Man universe is he gonna is he gonna show up in this game? Is that why it's Star Fox Zero? Oh, like I, that's I, the big I, plot twist. That would be awesome. The, the portal sends you cross uh, cross IP. Oh, another... am I supposed to pick those up or something? Oh, those might be bombs you can pick up and drop. And then you can drop the bomb. You gotta make that call. Oh, okay. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know if that's actually... Maybe I can I can try. It kind of does look like that's what I do. Watch for enemies directly below you. Okay, that's, that's great and all. Stress signal, huh? Oh, oh yeah. okay, okay. Oh, yeah. you gotta lower him on there. I, I, he he can hold it? the bomb. Oh, yeah. I'm sick to death of... Whoa! Racist? Hey, Cat. Oh, wow, really? Hey, it's Cat. I know, Cat, really. That character that's in... By the way, with a K, really? Yeah. Do I just drop this? Uh, it appears to be a bomb. Yeah, I think you just drop it on that guy. Okay. Did that that didn't hurt you at all. Nope. Very good. I think you can slip him in there now, is the idea. Yeah. Oh, okay. You oh, wait, I, got, I gotta go way lower now. Yeah. Get down. Get up on it. <laughs> yeah, gotta get up to get down. Oh, I think I think you're at the leash right. Oh, but it'll drag you around. That's convenient. What's going on? What is that little thing? Is that um, even important? The, like little token things that I can pick up. But... Okay, so she was like in here or something, wasn't she? Am I supposed to be doing something here? Maybe, she... maybe we should pay attention to what she says. Me out, huh? okay. Oh, okay. She's in there. She's that little arrow, so you got to get in there somehow. All right. Um, maybe I just need to get, like, super... Oh, hello. I think that's a bonus area, but you might as well get that gold ring. Yeah. Got to get that ring, you get know? those rings. It's like Sonic again, collecting gold rings. Oh, maybe I just drop a bomb on top of it. Oh, that could be. They are giving you bombs everywhere. You can just shoot those guys, right? No. I oh, cannot. you do not have... Guns? I do, but the guns like aren't powerful enough. Okay. Like the guns are actually very weak. Now this looks like you're really bad, but something tells me it's just the controls are very wonky. Yeah, they're kind of they're slightly fiddly. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we, know. Yeah, I know, we know. I know. I know. I got you the first time. Uh, Ow! Nope, that wasn't the trick. <laughs> Let's okay. try again. Maybe, maybe you just send Rob further in. Uh, maybe. maybe, but I mean, it was kind of weird in. because this thing is just like, oh, there's a button I can press. Oh, okay. Well, I, you can you can hack the spotlights. Yeah, I was confused because I'm like, I can't really like go in there because there's a spotlight like on it. But oh, okay, that works. Oh, we we didn't mention yes on yesterday's episode. Uh-huh. We're now in sixty frames per second. Sixty whole frames. Yes, we were. In, enjoy that delicious eye candy, everyone. Yes, enjoy our giant file editing size. Yes, in, yeah, file sizes for editing. Uh, it, honestly, we just had the setting wrong. Our our capture device is really high powered. Yeah. Um, it can it can do everything. Well, it can't do everything. Well, I mean, it, it can't, make... can't take anything but an HDMI signal, so everything <laughs> else has to convert. This is why we have those weird black bars on episodes for anything... Uh, can it make a sandwich, though? Anything GameCube and older. Uh, it cannot make a sandwich, so no. I guess I oversold it. I, I guess it truly can't do everything, <laughs> then. <laughs> it did not live up to the hype. Yeah. Oh, there's a door here. 
But there cat's is a like, door. Cat's like way further down. Well, there's probably something neat in there. Can you fly in there, or do you got to send the robot again? I, I got to send the little and, robot. And so now we have to sit and wonder what you're doing because you're on the gamepad. Yeah, I mean that's that's kind of the thing I don't like is there's well, there's that weird disconnect. That's like <laughs> Nintendo's never uh, never been good with the let's plays in the oh, first nice place. Shit. Like considering them, I mean, you know what they what they do with the Nintendo Share program and stuff. They're they're not yeah. super friendly to let's plays, so. I mean, I don't think they even take it into consideration. Oh, so you gotta go rescue her? You gotta pick her up? No, I need to disable the. the oh, these okay. Things, I was hoping you got to pick up the little kitty cat. May maybe, uh, maybe yeah. at another point. Maybe stroke her fur, a rubber belly. Wow, that's. Uh, I, I think we're getting into different territory there, uh, That's not what I mean. Jeez, you're sick. Whoa. Just because this is a game about furries. Uh oh. Oh, it turned red. I thought it was a bad thing. <laughs> All right, well, let's talk about furries more next time on The Branch. <laughs> okay.